El Yeo's fallen out of favor with the cartel. Let's bring him in. It's time we made him an offer. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. Hold up. We got hostile. Action. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. Spotted one with submachine guns. Pasa, güey. Andan alterado, pues. Se movió. Hay algo, güey. Civilian. No, hear me out, por favor. Vamanos, we're taking you someplace safe. I cannot leave. If El Sueño's men see that I'm gone, the cartel will kill my family. Cooperate, we can protect you. I will cooperate if you protect my family. Where exactly are you taking me? There's someone who wants to ask you some questions about your activities with the cart. The RP's just ahead. Nobody get comfortable. I get the feeling we'll be heading right back out again. Roger that. Easy. Come in. I should have known. CIA has brought in our own Sicarios. Simon Bolivar said the United States was destined to plague the Americas with misery. Now that misery is upon my house. He says Sueño has his family. You could have led with that. These four gunfighters are your best last hope at saving your family. So are you gonna play ball, or are you gonna bury more kin? Save my family, then I decide if I will talk. Yayo's family's in the cartel district of a village called Baya Floresta. We've got to move fast. So when you find he's gone, that family's dead. We're coming up on Baya Floresta. Yayo's wife and son are supposed to be somewhere in the village. Keep your eyes open. We 
got civilians dangerously close. Got Check your targets before you shoot. Kill confirmed. On it. Understood. Just hurry, okay? It's gonna be damned ironic if the dude has a coronary waiting for his wife and son. Roger that. Eyes on the target. Lost the target. the rebels to do a recon of the area. Ask the rebels to recon the area for us. Heads up, I got eyes on Yayo's wife and son. Dios mío, won't you see Carlos leave us alone? Take it easy. We're the good guys. Don't touch me. Calm down, Chewie. Your father sent us. You expect me to believe that? You can believe whatever the fuck you want as long as you shut up and follow instructions. Now follow me. Both packages secure. Let's get them back to their old man. drive. Go on, I'll be right with you. This is the old man's fault, isn't it? He's too greedy and too proud. A man cannot be both. Callate, mijo. Rudy does his best for his family, for the cocaleros. How do we even know he's with you? How do we know he's safe? That you aren't using us to get to him? Just like esos charros, esos mexicanos. I never said we weren't using you, but you are safe with us, and El Yayo is safe. I have seen the DEA and CIA do too much evil to my people. Do not expect me to trust you, Kuru gringos, Kumara Mamacoca. Viva! This is it. You're safe now. Hey. Rodolfo. Mi Rosita, estás bien? Sí, mi vida. Papa, what trouble had you gotten us into now, old man? We just got you out of trouble, kid. Don't expect us to believe that. Ustedes, blanquiñosos yankees, only bring problems to Bolivia. I may be too young to have marched with the Cocaleros in 96, but I have seen the scars on the protesters who were beaten. I'll eat a dick. I'm sick of this anti-American bullshit. We're not your enemy, kid. But you're not our friend, either. Tranquilo, mijo. 
I have made deals with many devils in my time, and it has always been to protect my family, to ensure that my people, Los Cocaleros, survive. Now I have made my deal with you, Agent Bowman. I'm sure to regret it later, but for now, it will allow us to see another day. Come and get what you want? Nobody's happy about it, but yeah, looks that way. Fucking ingrates. They know we saved their lives, right? All I know is the cartel's gonna have a hell of a time making cocaine without El Yayo. The rest is over my pay grade. I heard that. Hola, compañero! You cannot feed the hungry without food. You cannot heal the sick without medicine. And you cannot satisfy demand without a product. With the cocaine production in shambles, our market share was shrinking more and more every day. We increased prices, but it was a temporary solution. We would have to import from Peru and Colombia, invest heavier in meth and MDMA, a very costly and time-consuming endeavor. It would take years to rebuild. I had no choice. If workers were left unpaid for too long, there was no telling what they would resort to. But the biggest loser in all this was the people of Bolivia. Out of work with no means to support their families. All they could do was wait. Wait and see who was next to take possession of the coca fields. <laughs> 